we're dealing with quite a pickle this morning right before oil news look at that this is Fibonacci resistance a little baby chart on S&P this is exact same thing you will witness next on oil so why in the world is my bias bullish on S&P simple Fibonacci said so this is a little junky baby chart that's showing you the importance of the end of the minor trend. This level remains a major, major, major obstacle on S&P. Why in the world is my bias bullish? For exact same reason as it was bullish yesterday morning. This is proprietary Fibonacci reversal zone. This is proprietary Fibonacci support. You never, ever, ever short near. This is where your bias firmly bullish. This is what played out yesterday morning when price skyrocketed non-stop until this resistance. As we discussed with students after the close of the trading room, this bullish rally from reversal zone was flawless. This is what we were hoping for this morning. Key moment on S&P. Are you surprised that price is struggling? We've been struggling at this level for quite a while absolutely no surprise whatsoever as this is exact same thing that's oil doing on institutional chart than been present in front of you for years the only difference between the two is time frame you trade fibonacci level remains the same that's the reason hedge fund managers taken a course you're a retail trader you have small account you simply trade different instrument. This is a chart on oil that's been present in front of you for years. This is reversal zone on oil in 2016. This is Fibonacci resistance identified years in advance. And this is junky chart on S&P. Are you surprised? Should not be. Identical level. Confirming you instantly. If you know the rules, if you know what chart appropriate for you and your account, if you know how to place a trade properly, all you have to do is identify what you want to trade. Do you want to be a day trader? Do you want to be a position trader? Choice is yours. As students trade different instruments, different time frames, from beginner to hedge fund trader, in US and abroad. Listen to students and decide what you want to trade. No other website does this. As students become my dearest friends for life, from beginner to hedge fund trader trading a method. So, if you choose to join us, please review the information under Learn. Group course, 8 weeks, private mentoring, 16. In private mentoring, I concentrate on the instrument of your choice. If you choose to set up the charts on NinjaTrader 7, I will do it for you via screen sharing. And you also will have access to all group sessions. Only two openings in private mentoring, 3 days a week, booked until 2019. Choice is yours. What do you want to trade? Will S&P finally skyrocket and break through the end of the minor trend? If that's what oil will do next, we will see as your day trading chart on oil reminding you. This was oil news last week. Exact same Fibonacci support. If you missed the event last week in the trading room, please review the video on YouTube. As this was brutal resistance on your day trading chart where oil struggled for days, days, and finally blasted through. This is where oil is now in excruciating pain. So if oil struggled for days on your day trading chart, will S&P finally blast through with vengeance? key moment on S&P. Never, ever, ever, ever buy into this level. Doesn't matter what you trade. Doesn't matter if it's gold. Doesn't matter if it's oil. Doesn't matter if it's Netflix or Tesla. Look at Tesla. 
shock or not. Tesla in excruciating pain, but respecting this Fibonacci support. Identical level, your investment decisions. Here we are on S&P. As expected, price is struggling, as it did before. Fly, baby, you can do it. Skyrocket. We know how important this level is. We know that psychology is everything in life. Psychology is everything in trading. My background, Johns Hopkins psychiatry, certainly helps me in training traders. That will forever be one of the best things I ever had done. Five years Johns Hopkins psychiatry that shown me when I worked with celebrities that everything in life is conversation in your head. And that's what I will use in my work with my students, who are my dearest friends for life. And that's what you're witnessing every day in the course, every day in the trading room, that only Fibonacci matters. What you trade, absolutely up to you. You can do it, baby. I have faith in you. And that's the reason this end of minor trend is so hot pink. Clear on that? No surprise. This is expected to be a brick wall. This is what S&P had done on your investment chart. Remember this? This is a chart that's been present in the trading room for the last seven years. Look at that. This was Fibonacci reversal zone in 2014. In 2015 and 2016, looks familiar? This is where hourly chart is now on your day trading. Do you remember how much price struggled here at the end of the minor trend for months? Are you surprised how much pain S&P is right now as bullish rally exhausted? This is your investment decisions. Identical level taken S&P months and months to break through. And here we are, mile 26 of marathon, bullish rally exhausted. And just like S&P blasted through the end of the minor trend on your investment decisions, it's doing this right now. Are you surprised? Should not be. That's how price moves every time, no matter what you trade. So if you learn Fibonacci levels, if you learn Fibonacci rules, all you have to decide what you want to trade. All classes are live. Modules only supplemental. You are not wasting your time. You are concentrating on price action. Everything else background noise. Everything else artificial and delayed as S&P reminding you this morning. Knowledge is power. Clear on that? And that's what I warned you since yesterday morning. This is proprietary Fibonacci levels I developed in 2008 that you will never learn anywhere else. Never, ever, ever, ever short into reversal zone, ever. Never, ever, ever buy into reversal zone, ever. This is where price collapsed from, and this is where buyers continue stepping in. Oil news in 15 minutes. If you understand the danger of being in a trade at the time of oil news, it's extremely important that you move your stop outside of break-even. We agree on that, as you will witness very sharp, very volatile action as S&P will respond to oil. We agree on that. And that's the power of price action. And many points on S&P do you need, ladies and gentlemen? Many? Do you see the difference between the trading room buying before versus buying at? Choice is yours. Are you clear the importance of sniper's mentality and the importance of never, ever, ever shorting into reversal zone and playing by the rules? The sky's is a limit if you do. So, 
If you're celebrating life as much as I do, if you're playing by the rules, I look forward working with you. Adjust your trail. Spectacular job. Clear on that? And that's the power of knowledge in Fibonacci. Everything else background noise. That pure and that simple. Adjusting your trail right now is essential. Do not ignore. Look at the students and the results they are posting. How many lots, please, guys, give us updates? Ra, Tashi, Lee, anyone else? Who else is long when you are out of the trade? Please let us know. Billions of dollars traded on S&P. One lot on S&P, $50. Two lots on S&P, $100. One point. What is two points on S&P? One lot, hundred dollars. Ten lots, thousand dollars. Twenty lots, two thousand dollars. How many lots do we need to trade? Look at that. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the power of knowledge. When students are out of the trade, they will give you update on their results. As you can see, every single student trades different lot size, has different circumstances. Are you surprised what price is doing at reversal zone? Should not be. After this, we are closing the room. In the course, you learn to be a trader. In the course, you learn to execute as a sniper. In the course, you learn not to babysit the markets. Let's take a look on oil once again before oil news release. As S&P reminding you, do not acquire trend position into reversal zone. Ever. Ever. Identical thing as happened on oil. Remember that? Oil daily? My goodness! Chart present in front of you since 2016 reminding you. Massive, most spectacular announcement of 2017. OPEC production cuts. Russia, Iran, everyone, Saudi is cooperating and cutting down on production. What did oil do? Collapsed. Thousands of points. From 55 area all the way until 43. Where are we right now on oil? Ouch! Oil skyrocketed from this support until this resistance. Buying oil right now into institutional resistance, bad idea. What you choose to do, absolutely up to you. As S&P one minute chart doing exact same thing as oil had done. So, what I will do at the time of oil news is remind you, this is not the place to buy. This is worthless, bearish correction. Nasty is a name. Agree on that? You are at institutional resistance. I don't care how bullish the news is. It means nothing. What means? How you will play by the rules. You never acquire long position at reversal zone, especially knowing that this is institutional resistance. Oil news in few minutes. S&P is struggling. How many points on S&P? Depends on how you place your trades. When students are out of the trades, please let us know. Ladies and gentlemen, expectations on oil plus 5 ME. Anything below is bullish, anything above is bearish. And as we discussed, we know extremely well that oil opening up at institutional resistance. As we discussed extremely well this morning, buying oil randomly, not a good idea. This is not just your day trading chart. This is your institutional resistance. No matter what the news is, this is not the place to buy oil. This is a bullish news on oil, as oil news came out less than uh, expected, which is bullish unlike any other news. So here's oil at reversal zone on one minute chart. And here is S&P. Everyone clear on this example? So my beautiful Alphys, if you are all out of the trades, please take a look on the results. As you can see, Lee is trading 10 contracts, Trashy trading 4. So what is 10 contracts and 2.5 points on S&P? 2 points on S&P, $100. On 10 contracts, it's $1,000. 2 and a half points, add another.
um, whatever, a few hundred dollars. I don't know. I'm not making the math on that right now. Clear on that? So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the trading room this morning. I hope you witnessed the importance of playing by the rules, respecting reversal zone. As once again, Fibonacci levels present in front of you since last week in a play right now again. You witness what students accomplishing in the course. You witness that knowledge is power. You also witnessing that if you know where reversal zone is, if you know the rules, the skies are the limit. As levels present in the trading room since last week in a play this morning. I wish you fantastic afternoon. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. If you would like to w join us in the course, please review the information on the website and contact me after you review the information on the website. I appreciate if you contact me before you sign up for private mentoring course. Please remember that. Alphys, let's go into the trade recap. Thank you, traders. Have a marvelous afternoon.